Hot Wheels Battle Force 5, a show featuring a team of teenagers fighting against aliens and robots and dimensions to prevent an invasion on Earth. Sounds like something that wouldn't have much substance, right? Surprisingly, there is a lot to take from Battle Force 5. Whether it's the characters, stories, environments, or cleverly hidden hints. But of course, most of you did not know that Battle Force 5 foreshadows many of its future events. Throughout the show, characters in Season 1 made numerous references to work in the second season of the show, some obvious and some not. I'll be sharing what BF5's first season hints at. The Sark leader, Lord Zimmerick, was known for bragging and underestimating his enemies. In Episode 3, Zimmerick makes this remark to one of the characters. After the battle key. Wait! <laughs> Zimmerick! You're a prisoner in your own vehicle, Organic, as my creator, Wimper, just before I destroyed him. Never trust a machine. We'll get back to this later. First, there are other hints. In episode 11, Zeke gets struck by lightning while holding a data log containing information on the sentients. He suddenly gains the information in the data log and is able to help the Battle Force 5 while on the way. When this data is deleted, he says this line. I hope so. I like turtles. He saved my life. He will be fine, but he will not remember anything from the time of the lightning strike. All right, guys, let's get him back to the desert. <laughs> they are coming. <sighs> Interesting, right? What could he be referring to? Well, let's fast forward to episode 22, Gladiators. Where the Battle Force 5 meet a red Sark named Tors 10. Tors 10 mentions that it will be testing the most effective combat vehicle for its master. I am Tors 10, design master of this Sark vehicle testing facility. At my command, you will battle each other to determine which designs are worthy of the superior beings I represent. This is our chance to get that battle key and get out of here. Whoa! Taurus 10 is a something freaky. But what? It looks like a Sark. A red Sark? What does that mean? You shall never know. Until it's too late. Eventually, Taurus 10 is destroyed. When Vert tells Sage about the robot, she states, And the whole zone was controlled by this red Sark thing. More likely a minion tool, serving a higher master. Zemrick? Something in my memory bank indicates this threat is well beyond the scope of Zemrick's evil. So, if this isn't Zemrick Sark, then whose is it? Why red? There are other hints to this. Sometimes you can see a red version of Sark vehicles on screens, like the Zendril or the Simulian Zentner. It's all revealed in the season 1 finale where the new villain is released, Critus, Sage's twin brother who was mentioned in episode 14 as someone who she doesn't communicate with anymore. Is this gonna work? This can shut down a storm shock? In theory. Spinner, pass me the screwdriver. Huh? Uh. Ah. Uh. Thanks a lot, big bro. If this device works, it could end the war with Callus and Zemmerich. I will be able to search for sentient survivors, rebuild my civilization. You must miss your family. I miss my axons. Axons? 
what you humans would call parents. Uh, do you have any brothers and sisters? I have a twin brother, but we do not communicate. Hmm. Not because he's dead, rather because he's the enemy. Place her in this Hadron Link. It will restore her memory. And hopefully she'll remember how to get us back home. Actually, from what I know about sentient culture, that looks more like a Hadron Link. My mistake. You are knowledgeable for a human being. My little bro's a big old brainiac. Processors 100%. You are mere moments from freedom. a memory. Unfortunately, it is all too real. We're doomed. Master, I submit to your rule. Why you backstabbing, yellow-bellied, four-flushing little turncoat? Kratos. Kratos? My twin brother. I see the resemblance. How does it feel, Zemrick, to have your troops turn on you? How I have waited for this moment. Sherman, Spinner. I need your help to get us home. Vert, stall Kratos, then follow us as soon as you can. We have to help Zemrick get back to Sark. I made a deal with him. Very well. But be careful. Kratos is extremely dangerous. I remember a time when we were close. When you would do my every bidding. And then you betrayed me. Because my eyes were opened. I said it before, and I will say it again. Never trust a machine! <laughs> There are just enough Hadron Crystals to forge a battle key. We must work quickly. We're shoveling! We're shoveling! Shovel faster. Kratos will not rest until he's achieved total revenge against Zemmerich and me. Sucks to be Zemmerich right now. He has much to fear. Zemmerich used to lead Kratos' army until he turned on his master and locked him in the Crypt Zone. The Crypt Zone? An interdimensional prison, with Kratos out of the way. Zemrick was free to take over the Red Sentient Planet! Sneaky. Kratos, who was alluded to back in Episode 3, with some exaggeration by Zemrick. As my creator, Wimper, just before I destroyed him, never trust a machine. He and his team are the ones Zeke is referring to before he loses all the data. After his release, we see Kratos immediately take control of Zemrick's henchmen. The color changes to red. The Sark used to be red, in fact. That's why you see them in red on screens in episode 8 and 16. That's why Tor's tin was red. He was serving under Kratos, someone who is more evil than Zemrick, someone who Zemrick himself fears. Battle Force 5 has been hinting at the Red Sentient since the beginning, whether it's through dialogue or visual cues. Even in episode 12, I did not expect you to be blue. In my world, sentience are red. Nor did I expect a race of good vandals. Highly intriguing. Pretty amazing considering the amount of writers this show had.
Another fun little foreshadowing that they showed in the show was actually in episode 17, when Vert says upon entering a snow battle zone, for you, Bert. I have a buddy from the Yukon who would love this place. Guess what happened in episode 9 of the second season? Hmm. We could ask Zug. He's probably looking for work. <laughs> Good one. But I might have someone who can really help. Sage, what would you say to a new recruit? If you believe they can help, I am in agreement. Saddle up, everyone. We're going to the Yukon! Ice! Why did it have to be ice? So what brings you to the Great White North? I need your help. Anything, name it. I drive to the end of the universe for you, man. What about the end of the multiverse? Sure! What's a multiverse? <laughs> <laughs> this place is wicked awesome! Because, you know, it's okay if you want to think it over. <laughs> you gonna keep asking me questions all day? Are we gonna do this? You haven't changed a bit, AJ. Begin upgrade. Upgrade, you must name your vehicle. Um, the Gear Slammer. The writers hinted at a new team member for a while, haven't they? <laughs> 